Hi everyone, this is Jose for On Tour in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the famous black and gold city on the westernmost part of the state. On this tour, we'll visit a handful of neighborhoods from the 90 neighborhoods that make up the Steel City, each with their own distinctive characteristics and fascinating history to add to the greater Allegheny City. So join me on an amazing trip to the city of Pittsburgh. The City of Bridges, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a city full of innovation, prestige, and uniqueness, making it one of the most distinctive in the country. Pittsburgh also has many famous names that help restructure the story of Pennsylvania. Fred Rogers, a famous Pittsburgh alumni, once uttered the words, won't you be my neighbor? And in Pittsburgh, a collection of 90 neighborhoods, each with their own personalities, adds a piece to the layout that became the greater city of steel. Mount Washington. It gives a familiar story of Pennsylvania and its industrial history. Coal was burned on both sides of the state, which catapulted the Commonwealth in becoming one of the keys to the country's growth. Let's get into these neighborhoods with a trip to Mount Washington. Mount Washington is high above the city to the point that the roads are some of the steepest in the world. And the Monongahela incline is the best way of local travel. To think, the locals used to commute by foot up and down the mountain. From the edges of Mount Washington, you can see the top of the skyscrapers in Pittsburgh and a fantastic view of the city. Mount Washington was known as Coal Hill, an area housing the Pittsburgh coal seam, which became one of America's most important coal bed for its thick form and extensive reach. The Pittsburgh skyline shows a beautiful modern city in the state of Pennsylvania, and through the looking glass, the cars seem so tiny. We shift our way around the Berg to get a second angle at the West End Overlook in the Elliott neighborhood. From this scenic view, we see Point State Park. Crossing to another neighborhood, takes us over the Andy Warhol Bridge. Pittsburgh has over 400 bridges that connect the diverse terrain. And this bridge takes us to the neighborhoods of Manchester and Chateau, a quaint little village where the Three Rivers Trail system runs along the neighborhood. Manchester is Pittsburgh's biggest historic district, where it preserves the 19th century Victorian homes. Manchester contributed industrial innovations to Allegheny like building the area's first locomotive. The greater connection of these neighborhoods, Manchester started off as a village providing supplies to the farmers and Chateau broke off from that village to become a business district. As the weather changes, it sets up the mood for our next neighborhood, the Mexican War Streets on the North Shore. An area filled with colorful row homes and artistic inspiration. The Mexican War Streets were a development completed by William Robinson Jr., a former mayor of Allegheny. The streets are named after battlegrounds and generals of the war. The history is more of Robinson's story the first white male born on this side of the Allegheny, and also a proponent 
of Aaron Burr's takeover of the Mexican Empire that included Texas and California. Walking around the neighborhood, you're sure to bump into one of America's most colorful landmarks, Randy Land. Randy Gibson has created outsider art at this corner of the neighborhood and has become one of the most photographed pieces in all of Pittsburgh. Randy is a local icon sharing on-screen moments with Mr. Rogers in the documentary, The Spirit of Pittsburgh. I find myself with so much content while observing the art and inspired by this level of creativity. In the middle of the north side and Mexican War Streets is the Allegheny Commons Park, which divides several neighborhoods. It's a rainy day in Pittsburgh. Walking these streets is an artist's dream. All the vibrant colors, it just gives you inspiration to get creative. The park gives me a moment to reflect about the complex layout of Pittsburgh, where you can travel between neighborhoods and quickly identify their distinguishable characteristics. Let's cross to another neighborhood via the Rachel Carson Bridge, where we make a quick round of shopping in the Strip District before heading to the museum. Now here's a district that truly comes alive. Pittsburgh is the land of innovators. In this building, we get a visual history of the city, a building named after John Hines, another famous Pittsburgh alumni. Where do we begin? The John Hines Museum has all of Pittsburgh's history. Wrapped up in such an amazing experience, starting with transportation and the vehicle that got us out west, the covered wagon. But the city's most recognizable attraction is sports and the hometown heroes of Pittsburgh Steelers, the oldest franchise in the AFC, and up until recently, the team with the most Super Bowl wins. The boom of Steeler Nation came in the 1970s, where coach Chuck Noll took the team to unprecedented heights, being the only team in history to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls on multiple occasions. And while we're at it, let's talk some baseball. Major League's Pittsburgh Pirates and the Negro League's Grays and Crawfords. Pittsburgh was a prominent city involved with the Negro Leagues, paving the way for inclusion and the Pirates, a team who's had legends walk through their doors. And not to be forgotten is hockey. With the Pittsburgh Penguins, the first NHL team to have consecutive wins since the 2000s. Pittsburgh sports history is a story of its own. But this museum is more than sports. It's inventions and people. And what's more recognizable than Heinz Ketchup or icons like Mr. Rogers and the Jeep brand? One of my favorite quotes by Mr. Rogers goes like this, whether we're given or receiving help, each one of us has something of value to bring to the world. Of all the things we can discover in Pittsburgh, the legends are often forgotten in this giant story. Beginning with Mr. Rogers, I like to say the world is a better place because of Rogers. He taught us about emotions, caring for ourselves and others, and learning to understand and accept people for who they are. Let's take a seat and go through the tale of the public figures. How a 
about walking in front of Heinz Stadium and bringing a city together for the love of sports, but also community, in which the Steelers are heavily involved in. The black and gold is for something else. Pittsburgh is home to champions. Let's cross over the Roberto Clemente Bridge into PNC Field to visit the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates and talk about a story, not of baseball, but of true sportsmanship, of Roberto Clemente, the first Caribbean and Latino American player inducted into the Hall of Fame. Clemente was a one-of-a-kind player. As Roger Angle put it, he played a kind of baseball that none of us had ever seen before, a career struck short because of his humanitarian work, a man who spent time off the field doing charity. As he hopped a plane to bring aid to the people of Nicaragua from a devastating earthquake, his plane crashed into the Atlantic Ocean from being overloaded with emergency goods. Did you know that PNC Field, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, is part of the larger Northside community, and Pittsburgh played the very first World Series against Boston in games played at Exposition Park on the North Side. Let's go over one more bridge, South 10th Bridge, to the downtown and Golden Triangle. As our excursion starts to wind down, Let's close the brochure and go experience the city. Stopping by Colored Park and the Highland on the south side of Pittsburgh. The downtown neighborhood, the tourist and business center of Pittsburgh where we're able to reach the Golden Triangle of Point State Park, a park where three rivers meet. Allegheny and Monongahela merge to become the Ohio River. On this warm day, boats, bikes, and all forms of recreational vehicles fill the park. The people enjoying their holiday, representing the best of Pittsburgh. Point State Park is an endless view of the city with a towering water fountain at the center of the triangle. From here, you can see the sports arenas, the slopes of Mount Washington. More importantly, regular Pittsburgh residents enjoying their time in this great city. Let's pause for something refreshing on this warm day. Let's go right back into downtown, towards Market Square, the area that was once a home to the courthouse, jail, and city newspaper. Now it's a fast-moving area of delicious restaurants and delightful hobby games, like Hacky Sack. But the tipping point of our adventure comes at the incline, the historic system that became a postcard attraction for Pittsburgh. Much like the Monongahela Incline, the Duquesne Incline was created for easier transportation up to Mount Washington. Taking the Incline, you can see the beauty of Pittsburgh firsthand. 
the black and yellow city. Pittsburgh is the embodiment of Pennsylvania, containing a piece of every other area we visited throughout the state. It has history, it has industry and legends. The abundance of neighborhoods gives it a definition and variety not found in many other cities, completing the architecture to the great Pennsylvania story. This is Jose for On Tour. If you like what you've seen today, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share. If you wanna know more about the places I've been to, please see the links below. Until next time.